Welcome to the Rabbit Hole. This is uh, Rabbit Hole PVD Podcast. I'm Kyle. This is Lee. We are White Rabbit from Providence, Rhode Island. And uh, we are uh, put together this compilation album, Down the Rabbit Hole, Volume 1. We have uh, bands from all over the place. Uh, a little bit of a psychedelic sound for all the tracks. Coming together, one place, a little bit of unity. Everybody just sent the tracks in uh, randomly, kind of just put the word out there and then ended up, you know, just getting more more and more uh, internet buzz or whatever you'd call it. And we have so many tracks now yeah. that we didn't really, we had to make a second one. So this is the first compilation, Down the Rabbit Hole, Volume 1. Yeah. And uh, these are... Out. We have uh, Compilation 2. It's uh, going to be coming up very soon. It's completely compiled already. It's compiled. <laughs> it's compiled. It's compiled. So this is just our artist highlights from the first compilation, and we're just gonna go through each track. Um, we just selected four tracks that we like from the uh, compilation. We're gonna go through each one and tell you what we like about the tracks, what the tracks mean, and uh, what the tracks mean to us. A little bit about all the artists, and yeah, give a little bit of background. So down the rabbit hole. Alright, first artist highlight, The Morning After. We've got Kill Vardy. That's right. They're uh, from Sheffield in the United Kingdom. Been around since uh, the early 90s, 1993. They put out their first record. That's right. They have a definite, just like, kicking sound. Definitely give me, uh, definitely the punk, punk kind of rock and roll, all around rock and roll yeah, sound. It's pretty straight, straight ahead rock. It's rocking. Um, I definitely like, you know, the vocals definitely got a little bit of a Mick Jagger almost to them, and I don't know, I like the energy of the song all around, right when it kicks in, it just stays at the same pace, definitely a nice, it's got kind of a vintage old school sound to it, for sure, definitely has just a vintage vibe about it, um, I definitely like the, uh, I like the distortion that he's got going on the Vox and everything. I like, um, you know, I just like the overall energy that they were bringing uh, on this one. Yeah, we'll let you listen to a little bit of it now. There's gotta be something better than this, yeah. My own idea of a little bliss. Alright, next artist highlight, Angeli Rose. She's coming out of uh, Brooklyn, New York. She's traveled all over Europe and Spain, Canada, United States, playing her music and writing music. Now this song is a real, this song's called Splendor Never Ends. This song seriously got a chill vibe right from the beginning. Really like this song. It's um, definitely got like a 50s vibe about it. And um, has nice jazz and folk influences with kind of a pop feel. She's got a sweet voice with the jazzy guitar riff. Definitely got that jazzy feeling. Um, I'd say it's got almost like that city feeling. Like, definitely can tell it's got that New York City vibe about it. Yeah. And a lot of different world influences back in that day. Yeah, the drums sound super crisp. The drums have a nice a nice click to them going on. I like that. And uh, just an overall good good feeling on this one. Even though the message of the song is more or less like bittersweet. Because it's real happy, but it's kind of got a bittersweet overall uh, message. The trippy vocals at the end really remind me of Jeff Buckley a lot on this song. So yeah. I really like the um, her, her vocal performance. Yeah, it kind of gave me um, sort of an Elizabeth Cook Dude Twins, Massive Attack. Some serious stuff out of New York, so we're gonna let you listen to that one. Give you a little taste of that. A little taste of that good.
right, this is our third artist highlight we from have, Volume uh, 1. We have Blonde Otter now with uh, Ghost. Definitely, I just have an 80s feeling instantly when it kicked in. Yeah, that synth. And then it kind of goes into that 50s doo-wop vibe. I really like that. And it's just um, with that, that reverb kind of arpeggio old time. That makes It's just a happy feeling. It's almost a uh, post-punk sound, but uh, more of a pop influence and some, some psychedelic sounds. Yeah, the psychedelic ties it all together. It has almost like a Beach Boys vibe. If I could be Even when the vocals kick in, it kind of keeps that Beach Boys vibe. Just a little touch. I like that. Yeah, there's nice chord changes there. The thing about this song... Very smooth, and that '50s vibe will come out too. You know, it's got the, it's got, it's got a lot going on. I would say, as far as like overall, it's definitely a unique song overall. You can say it sounds like this, you can say it sounds like that, but it's always a unique combination. Blonde Otter, Blonde Otter, it's their sound, their sound is unique. I like it. And also, I have to say. That big bright chorus kicks in in this song. I mean, like when the chorus kicks in in the song, it yeah. just boom, it just hits you. And I like that a lot. Um, there's also a lot of spacey background noises in this one. Yeah, this song is stayed stuck in my head. <laughs> yeah, the, a while after the chorus just unleashes the whole the whole song to me. That's where the trippy noises come in after and everything. I like I love the chorus. Good old school unique vibe. that good. Artist highlight, but not the least, Jabberwocky out of Providence, Rhode Island, hometown heroes. Um, these guys have been staying busy playing around the Northeast Festival circuit and all around the clubs. And they had a huge tour booked, but it had to be canceled. Corona, the Corona. But they'll be back. He, sh- he, sh- how- he who shall not be named Corona. But um. Yeah, I love when this one gets. It's just like a space funk uh, love fest, really. It definitely, had, to me, has like an Umphreys McGee aqueous sound to it, yeah, if you're familiar with those, those bands. Funky prog kind of jam vibes. The bass is smacking. Um, the bass is definitely smacking. In it. I like the vocal deliverance, the energy. Guitar solos, they pops. The main riff in this song is is nice, crunchy, crisp. Just something, something that stands out. I really like the, the main riff in this one. And, uh, the lyrics are just, you know, the lyrics are about choices and kind of about inevitability and someone you haven't like let into your life yet. That's what it felt like. But what else can you say? It's just Jammy yeah, Jams from Providence, Rhode Island. So, space funk. Overall, just good feelings. But yo, listen yeah, to that. Listen to that good, good. You will never own my thoughts.
<laughs> so that was uh, Jabberwocky with Moonlight. And they have a new album they're working on, I believe. So that was uh, the last of our artist highlights here for Down the Rabbit Hole, Volume 1. Any of the artists that we have, just click the links that you see pop up, you know what I mean? Um, during yeah. their videos, we're going to have links to everything that um, they're into right now. So you can figure out what each one of those bands is really getting into because they're right. from, we got bands from all over the place. So it's interesting to see these bands from all over the place and what they're doing, what they're trying to uh, get their local scenes to uh, Right. to look like you know? and you can uh, check our facebook rabbit hole pvd and we have uh, all sorts of other artist highlights on there a little more info about who else is on the compilation absolutely there's going to be more episodes there's going to be more rabbit hole compilations down the rabbit hole and this is uh this is our first podcast episode of rabbit hole pvd we hope you enjoyed it check out and support local music Yep. And uh, find our YouTube channel on uh, all social media. We have some some live videos. And Al, we got we have with <laughs> white we have our band White Rabbit. We have plenty of music, so check it out. We'll and, be back. Uh, we'll be back, yo. Keep the torch lit.